Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John, here's my report. P uh, President Clinton will be facing protests from Seattle's gay and lesbian community during his visit this month because of his policy on homosexuals in the military. Clinton says that no matter where he goes, he always seems to be getting criticism from Capitol Hill. <laughs> King County's new jury selection system started this week with each potential juror given an ID badge with a barcode. The only problem so far is that it's really hard to roll some of the heavier jurors over the bar scanner. <laughs> well, Twelve million dollars worth of Asian hero heroin was seized at SeaTac Airport this week. Airport police said they knew they were dealing with Asian heroin because they tried some, and an hour later, they really wanted some more. <laughs> the Slug Festival in Elma, Washington, has been retitled the Blackberry Festival. The change was prompted by the dismal sales of last year's homemade slug preserves and deep dish slug pie. <laughs> Los Angeles is experimenting with domed housing for the less fortunate. The city of Seattle is doing the same thing in the Kingdom on Sundays. <laughs> well, a, co a coffee fest featuring over 264 exhibitors is being held this weekend at the Trade Center in Seattle. The festival is scheduled to end on Sunday, but probably won't wind down until around Thursday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> A mother and son crack cocaine ring was busted in West Seattle this past week. The mother told arresting officers that she knew selling drugs was wrong, but that, quote, it was something we could do together. <laughs> Finally, KST oh. <laughs> Finally, KSTW Channel 11 will become an affiliate of the new Warner Brothers network next summer. Station management says that there will be no noticeable changes made other than replacing weatherman Larry Schick with Elmer Fudd. <laughs> this has been the Thank you. We'll be right back.